What's going on, people? I just want to speak briefly on a video that I watch regarding Nature Boy. Uh, there were a video that Nature Boy was talking to. I believe her name is Eliana, her father. You know, and the father, he seems like he seems like a really nice guy. I think he is a bit too nice. Um, I'm not sure as to why he was not in his daughter's life to prevent her from uh, being prey to the demonic wolf that Nature Boy has proven himself to be. Now, watching that video kind of made me nauseated to my stomach because just to sit there and watch this girl being devoured by a wolf and the father was completely and totally helpless. He was being extremely too nice to Nature Boy. I myself personally would not have been on a live stream with anyone trying to negotiate with the wolf for my daughter. That just would not have happened. Now, I don't know why he was not there for her. I'm not sure what was going on in their family. But if that was my daughter, if I had daughters, and if that happened to my daughter, or even my granddaughter, there would be extreme bloodshed. My mind goes back to a time period when the mafia made people disappear. It was a time where people's bodies were found in the trunk of a car or their bodies were found in meat freezers or their bodies were hacked up and scattered in different locations. That's where my mind is. And he'd not, he'd never know when I'm about to strike because I will find him if that was my daughter. Now, I know in many minds it's easier said than done. But watching that girl now, I'm not going to blame Nature Boy because Nature Boy is being, he's only being himself. He's a wolf. He's a demon. He came as a wolf in sheep clothing and he taught a good game. And she fell prey to that game that he played on her mind and played on the minds of many of those young people that are now enslaved or ensnared by his venomous poison. Something happened in those young people's lives that would make them run from their own families. Forget about Babylon, but they ran from their own families to a secluded place with the devil himself. His horns should tell you who he is, but they're so blind that they cannot see the horns of this demonic beast. So Nature Boy has crept in. He did his job. And he took the minds and souls of these young people. Now, back to Eliana, whatever her name is. And in her mind, she's young. She's young. She's very young. And she probably more than likely think that she knows what she's talking about. But there's no way 
as a father. And see, that's why it's, impo- it's, 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 it's important, extremely important for a father or a man figure, a dominant figure to be in the household because that shouldn't have never happened. Steps should have been made from the very beginning to keep her from even desiring to fall into the arms of the devil. But now she's trapped for life. Even if she wants to let go, it's almost impossible for her to let go. So for the father to be on social media being interviewed and it's and it's and it's easy for him to get on and say that what he would have done and what he'd do if he saw him but this man is in a in a in a different country with your daughter and he's talking mad junk to you on social media disrespecting you and your daughter in front of your eyes and you cannot do anything about it Because somewhere along the line, the father dropped the ball. He dropped the ball, let his guard down, and the wolf came in and devoured his little girl. Now, she looks sad. She looks sick. She looks weak. Her body looks frail. And she's about to give birth to a child that more than likely will be affected by that. Now, Nature Boy is in her life forever, whether she want him to be there or not. But it's sad that in many homes, there is no father to protect that home, to protect these young men and women that grew up in the house without a father, or a man role model. And like I said in a video of the past, masculinity is your savior. But with Nature Boy, he's got all types of energy and spirit that that's emanating from him. Witchcraft, demonic energy. One minute he wants to be masculine. Another minute he's letting the white dude, you know, do him. So he's got that homosexual spirit, but yet he's trying to give the impression that he's a man. The Most High says that he is not the author of confusion. And you know, I have no sympathy for a lot of those young people, especially if they get in the frame of mind where they start saying that they are God themselves. You say you're God, but yet you're looking to Babylon to fund you, to donate to you, because you are homeless. But wait, I thought God was self-sustaining. I thought God provided for himself that he needed no one. But yet you need the same Babylon that you call yourself running from. See, so nature boy is only being himself. He's being a devil. That's what he is. He's a demonic energy that came in and devoured your seed. And that's why it's important for a man to be there. Because a real man would not be talking right about now. He would not be on social media being interviewed. A real man would go get his daughter. Or she would have never made it as far as she made it. And for him to be on video disrespecting the father and the daughter in front of him. And going to let the father know that this is my woman and she ain't going nowhere. Brother, they would have found him in the trunk of a car, his body cut up in different locations, or him hanging on a meat hook somewhere in a freezer. 
So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless and I'm just thinking out loud.